So ever since I got my first 3D printer a long time ago, I've always wondered, is it possible to 3D print a functional replacement key for a lock? And if so, how would you do it? Let's get started. So my first thought was to 3D scan it. That would obviously be the easiest thing. So I took a bunch of pictures back and forth all the way around it, up, down, in, out, and then threw them into the 3D scanning software. So here's the model after exporting from the photo scan software, and it didn't turn out half bad. Some of the writing on the head of the key came out, which is pretty cool. But the problem is these grooves. There's a lot of noise, and specifically on the tip of the key, this is supposed to be kind of S-shaped, and it just didn't turn out very good. I did try and smooth out some of this stuff before I printed it, but still didn't get very good results. After the failed print, I decided to just scrap the whole 3D scanning route and go straight into Fusion 360 and model this up myself. So I started out by sketching up a rectangle and extruding it out to the width and length and depth of the key shank. Once I had the basic shape, I went ahead to the front profile of the blank and sketched out the grooves that I needed to have in this in this key and I had to play with these dimensions a little bit but finally I got them set and went ahead and extruded it out so now I had a nice perfect key blank the only thing left was to add the areas that lift the pins of the lock and I started just modeling these and sketching them out but that was very tedious and time-consuming a lot of different measure measurements and I decided there's a much better way of doing this what I decided to do was take a profile picture of the key that kind of showed each of the little risers that raised the pins. I then cut out the background and then inverted it and converted it to an SVG file. Once I had an SVG file, I can insert that into a sketch through the insert function, insert SVG. There's online converters that'll convert JPEGs or PNGs to SVGs and I can add that to a sketch which I did here. It was just a matter of scaling it down and transforming it to perfectly lay over the key blank that I had. Once I had that I could easily extrude away the extra material and I was left with this. As you can see I got that nice perfect S pattern and all the little lifters that raise the pins are perfectly aligned. After getting the design pretty much set in Fusion 360, I went ahead and exported just the shank of the key and printed it on the CR-10S again. And again, the grooves didn't come out. While it was better than the 3D scan was, it still wasn't usable and not functional. At this point, I decided, you know what, the CR-10S probably just doesn't have the accuracy to print this to a functional print. At this point, I decided to break out the FL Sun S DLP resin based printer and try to get more detail out of this model, and I was successful. The details came out beautifully, but I realized two things. One, the grooves needed to be deeper, they weren't deep enough in the original model, and two, the printer had some reflect X setting that switched the groove sides, and so that needed to be adjusted as well. I went back into Fusion 360 and increased the depth of each of the grooves as well as added the head to the model to complete it. I exported it to the FSL creation software and fixed the X reflect problem and then sent it over to the FL Sun to begin printing and that's when I realized the mistake that I had made with a CR-10S. With all my previous prints I had printed it in this orientation, a vertical orientation. The problem with that is the most accuracy on this model I want going this way. I want it in the grooves and the teeth of the key and most FDM printers are most accurate on the Z. And the reason for this is because typically that's driven with a lead screw, whereas the X and Y are driven with belts. So the most accuracy I'm gonna get is through the Z. By orientating it horizontally like this, and then of course adding supports below here, I'm gonna get much more accuracy going up through the grooves and even the teeth of the key. So. I went ahead and sliced it that way. So here's the final print off the CR-10S, printing it horizontally. And I did take a file and file just a little bit on each groove. They came out really good, but 
I did need a little bit of filing right there, not too much. So the moment of truth, will it unlock this lock? Well, let's see. Yep. FO Sun still printing, but we got one off the CR10. And it works beautifully. Pretty cool. So there we have it, guys, a functional 3D printed key. Here's the one that come, came off the FL Sun S. It fit perfectly, but the resin's just too brittle to turn the tumbler. So um, probably stick with PLA or maybe even nylon if you wanted something that would last. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.